Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at English vocabulary relating to bread. This promises to be a really interesting lesson, full of really useful vocabulary. Don't forget, as usual, I'm posting the complete word list in the description below. So if you're ready, let's get started on our lesson. And why not hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos. Our first word describes a piece of bread that is shaped and baked in one piece. Loaf. Repeat after me. Loaf. And it's quite common to hear the term a loaf of bread. A smaller singular portion of bread is referred to as a slice or a slice of bread. We could also refer to it as a sliced bread. This is how it might be referred to in a place like a supermarket. Sliced bread. We refer to new bread as fresh. It's common to hear new bread described as freshly baked. Freshly baked bread. When bread is not fresh, we call it stale. Or it might simply just be called old, old bread. When bacteria starts to grow on old bread, we call it mouldy, mouldy bread. When bread is not so fresh, we can use it to make bread crumbs. The highlighted B is silent, bread crumbs. When bread is heated and starts to become brown, we call this toast or toasted bread. And the kitchen appliance we use to toast bread is called the toaster. Repeat after me. Toaster. The hard outer layer of bread is called the crust. Repeat after me. Crust. Common types of bread include white bread, brown bread, multi-grain bread, and gluten-free bread. We'll cover other types of bread towards the end of this lesson. The process of creating bread is simply referred to as making bread or baking bread. Someone who is employed to make bread is called a baker, and a baker works in a bakery. Common ingredients used in making bread include yeast, flour, water, and salt. When we add these ingredients together and combine them, the process is called mixing. Mixing the ingredients. When these ingredients are combined, it creates a dough. Repeat after me. Dough. The process of creating bread includes rising. This is where the dough will grow and expand into a much bigger shape. We could say the bread is rising or perhaps the bread needs to rise. In the process of making bread, you may hear the term fermentation. This refers to the process where yeast converts sugar to carbon dioxide and alcohol, and this causes the dough to rise. The word proofing most commonly refers to the final rise dough undergoes, which takes place before it is baked. Proofing. The process where the dough is folded, stretched and pulled is called kneading. Note here that the K is silent. Kneading. One of the last steps in the process of making bread is shaping. And this is where the dough is formed into the shape that it will be baked in. Shaping. When the dough is ready, we place it in a loaf tin or a loaf pan. The final step in the process is to place your dough in the oven. Repeat after me. Oven. 
If you're enjoying this video from my channel Learning English Pro, why not send some love my way by hitting the super thanks button. And many thanks to those who have already supported my channel. Okay, let's get back to our lesson and take a look at some different types of bread which you can find in places like a bakery or a supermarket. Our first type of bread is French, the baguette. Baguette is a French word which has entered the English lexicon. A type of bread which is common at breakfast and at lunch is the bagel. Repeat after me. Bagel. A German bread which is famous throughout the world is called pretzel. Repeat after me. Pretzel. Next up, we're heading to Italian cuisine with ciabatta. Repeat after me, ciabatta. Another popular bread from Italian cuisine is focaccia. Repeat after me, focaccia. And staying with Italy, probably one of the most popular breads in the world is the pizza base. This would definitely be my top choice in breads. Pizza base. A sweeter type of bread is called brioche. This is another French bread, brioche. Our next bread is popular in Asia, naan or naan bread. A similar softer bread from the Middle East is called pisha bread. Repeat after me, pisha bread. Both naan bread and pisha bread are types of flat bread. Flat bread is a general term which can include lots of different types of bread. We have the Mexican flat bread, tortilla. Repeat after me, tortilla. A bread which comes from Jewish tradition is called challah. A bread which is very popular in Europe is rye bread. Repeat after me, rye bread. A bread which is very traditional and popular from my homeland of Ireland is soda bread. Repeat after me, soda bread. A bread which can be traced all the way back to ancient Egypt is sourdough bread. Repeat after me, sourdough bread. Our next bread is called cornbread. This type of bread is very popular in the southern United States. Cornbread. A small loaf of bread which can be eaten by an individual is called a roll or a bread roll. Another common but smaller shape of bread is called a bun. Commonly found in fast food restaurants are burger buns. Repeat after me, burger buns. And burger buns brings us to the end of this English vocabulary lesson on bread. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget about the word list in the description. If you're like me and have a huge passion for English vocabulary, you should head over to my channel, Learning English Pro, for tons more videos on lots of interesting topics covering lots of really great English vocabulary. There's so much to see and learn and I update the channel very regularly. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions with you in mind, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so hit that to get all my videos. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.